Quatrième conférence dans HSI 2017. Moi, bien content où est nous toutes là. Et nous gagnons ensemble avec nous, professeur Ernst Maslin, qui pourra le parler. Ma fait un petit parler tout court sur le travail qu'il fait et pour qui ça lit là, je dis. Docteur Louis Ernst Maslin, c'est un assistant professeur, associé de professeur dans l'anthropologie dans l'Université Miami. Recherche l'Ishita sur l'anthropologie qui a un rapport avec la famille et puis dans toute l'Amérique. là. Il travaille tout sur les questions qui ont un rapport avec la santé, ensemble avec la sécurité, le monde. Et puis, sous qui wall pouvoir, violence avec les gens qui marginalisé, sous ça au subi, et spécialement dans le pays Brésil, Haïti, République Dominicaine et puis ici, États-Unis. Dr. Louis Ernst Maslin, c'est un petit Kai, ça veut dire un petit Haïti. Il travaille ensemble avec un pile collègue qui est dans l'UM et puis dans l'autre université. Tout. Lycée Moun qui était fondé, y a un institut qui relève INURED et organisation là, organisation ça a fait un travail ensemble avec Moun en Haïti côté y est capable de changer sa capacité souterrain. C'est un plaisir pour moi, Jodia, pour me présenter nous li, qui pour parler nous sous après Matthew, famille, santé sécurité moun et sous question qui sont capables de construire la paix dans la zone sud pays d'Haïti. Ma demande nous pour nous capables d'applaudir invité. Bon, eh, bon, it's okay, right? Et je eh, salue tout le monde, je vais vous mettre pour ça que je tout le monde. Je ne vais pas empêcher les gens, oui, non, nous ne vais ok, excellent. Bon, et puis le gros problème là, qui va le là, c'est que je me traduis et PowerPoint là en créole, comme ça pour tout le monde capable capable étudier l'anglais langue là, puis capable d'avoir accès. Mais en même temps, nous connaissons que la langue marche avec degré évolution société, évolution science, évolution littérature. Toute belle bagarre que nous avons écrit, nous comprenons. Donc ça veut dire que nous n'avons pas nécessairement le même niveau pour nous joindre le même concept yo, qui existait dans la langue anglaise. Là. Dans la langue anglaise, on a parlé de désastre. Moi, je pas nécessairement voulu dire même bagaille. Donc, balance, je vais laisser faire là, c'est fait balance pour une présentation sérieuse, accurate, sérieuse, pour les précis, sans pas folkloriser la langue. Là. Mais tout, il y a des moments que je vais parler et je vais obligé de tourner sur l'anglais. Parce que la majorité des concepts dans la recherche sur la question des désastres et post désastres la question de santé, sécurité humaine, etc., même si vous parlez en français, même si vous parlez en allemand, la majorité des concepts sont développés en langue anglaise. Donc, l'anglais a un rapport de pouvoir entre les gens qui parlent et avec les gens qui parlent là. D'accord Rapport pour voir ça, nous sommes parce que nous connaissons que ce n'est pas important pour nous, pour nous retourner sur ça et le concept central. Nous dit. Donc, nous avons demandé un effort un, pour m'expliquer la recherche qui fait là, le travail qui fait là, mais en même temps, pour me faire un effort pour me rester fidèle à niveau l'anglais, de telle façon que je ne pas aller trop vite et que je ne pas un peu diminuer l'engouement pour apprendre l'anglais. Est-ce que c'est clair? Up now? Everything is okay. Good. So, et, alors, rapidement, nous sommes un professeur à l'Université de Miami et nous travaillons dans différents pays et particulièrement en Haïti parce que c'est là où nous avons un gros travail. Nous fait. 
Nous travaillons avec une institution que nous avons INURED, c'est de lui-même, collègue nous, professeur à Tépalé Et nous avons fait en recherche, le travail que nous fait, c'est surtout sur le problème, ça va aller, human security. Sécurité humaine. Et sécurité humaine, non, il n'y a pas seulement à ouais, à ZAM, protection de l'État, pas comme ça. Non. Sécurité humaine, non, veut dire que, une jeune fille, qui a marché dans un quartier, ça ne va pas violer. Yon nèg noué ka mache yon kasye blan sans que yon pas assassiné. Et yon moun ki gangou, li jouen manje, li pa oblige mouri gangou. Et le gon cyclone, tout moun gon réponse ki pou bay, et réponse ki bay la, le gon cyclone. On désastre, hurricane. D'accord? Le réponse la bay la, et pons la, tout moun e galigo. D'accord? Gen sécurité humaine. Par exemple, nous sonje nan Katrina. Nan Katrina, réponse l'état a, L'été différentiel. Ça veut dire que y a parti dans la réponse là, qui allait vite pour une catégorie sociale. Moun. Pas parce que c'est moi parce que vous blanc, non? Parce que vous avez des moyens. There is infrastructure, they have means, vous avez des moyens. À cause de moyens que vous avez, vous avez chappé pour vous facile. L'autre qui n'a pas de moyens, vous avez été, vous avez bis. Si vitesse cyclone arrive, donc la sécurité humaine vous a menacé. Nous avons compte, nous avons ça. Donc, résultat, on désastre. L'elle frappe un pays, il est presque proportionnel à résultat so social justice, justice sociale qui gagne dans le pays. Si le pays a créé possibilité pour tout le monde d'avoir accès à la même bagaille, l'on a un danger, la réaction pour aller égale égo. Il a la même chance avec l'autre monde pour le sauver. Mais si le pays a créé une structure qui est inégalitaire, qui est you une know, structure de inégalité, automatiquement réponse là pour aller inégal. Sur so, ça nous parlons là, soit fait Mathieu et Haïti, hein, ce n'est pas parce que Haïti spécial ou bien Haïti spécial dans la souffrance. Non. Question scientifique là, c'est, étant donné que nous connaissons, il y a un paquet de choses que nous ignorons aujourd'hui, et le climate change, et le climat qui a changé. Gap. Séparation entre les gens riches et les pauvres qui ont Inéquité, inéquité. Inéquité qui gagne la distribution entre les gens. Et inégalité qui gagne entre les groupes. Donc, la problématique climat a plus fort, tant qu'il y a plus de désastres, c'est tant qu'inéquité a montré que est plus violent. Inéquité, they are going to be more violent. Ou à peu la réalité dans ce monde a fait. Ce qui passe à Haïti, il est passé aux États-Unis. Ce qui passe à Haïti, c'est une histoire, c'est une histoire humaine. Ce n'est pas une histoire histoire. C'est une histoire de monde, une condition de monde. Il n'y a rien à voir avec seulement les Haïtiens. D'accord Excepté que dans le cas Haïtien, ce n'est pas blanc non qui fait Haïtien marginaliser Haïtien. C'est Haïtien noir qui marginalise Haïtien. Dans notre cas, ce n'est pas deux white from the south ou wherever who came to dominate us. We create our own domination system, our own exclusion system, and our own system of inequities. So, you may have a black and white but the same result if the system is not good. So, the result is not good. Is it clear? Is it clear? Everyone? Okay, good. So, I'm going to say excuse. I apologize if sometimes if I try to to put things in another language because I want you to understand what is at stake. It's not just, you know, a lecture. Ok. Alors, là, on a commencé avec ça. Mais qui est le premier, mais qui est le premier On a regardé dans une petite bout d'histoire sur Haïti, histoire des as en Haïti, récent. In the last 15 years, dans 15 ans ça seulement, ok, qui sont passés là. Only in 15 years, let's, let's look what happened. The, what has happened to Haïti? Ça qui passé en Haïti fait que des as, à peu près, il y a 5 millions de personnes qui sont affectées. Ça veut dire que, in one way or another, if it's not your cousin, your mom, your sister, somebody you know has been affected in your neighborhood by disaster. Et puis son petit pays, it's a small country, ten, with 10 million people, not too many. 5 million, half, moitié population, moitié, half of the population, ok, they are affected. Deuxième bagaille, désastre, dans 15 ans seulement, dans 15 années, in 15 years, tout y est, au moins, at least, au moins, 229 000 moun. 229 000 moun, non population de 10 millions, mes amis, 
you see, it's something. Il va ça. Comment ça passe? Regardez bien. En 2004, cyclone Jeanne. Alors, entre parenthèses, et what I did was to write all the name of the hurricanes in their original name. OK? So then people can follow the story. OK? So, en, si c'est en créole, I would write it differently in créole. But just we want to keep the name the way it is. Cyclone Jeanne. 5,000, 5,000 moun mouri, mort, 5,000 death. 300,000, 300,000 moun affecté. Dega, 7% of eh, eh, GDP, PIB, PIA. Tout le sujet, 7%, 7%. En 2007, cyclone a tué 300,000, 300 moun, 330 moun, 330 people, dead. 194,000 moun, 14,000 moun affecté. 2% of PIB, of GDP. Cyclone fait, Gustave, Anna, Ike, all, tout passé, même là en Haïti, ensemble. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All, wherever you go, it's there. 800 people dead, 800 deaf. 1,000, 1,000 moun affecté. 15%, 15% production au pays. Allez, disparaître. Bien entendu, ça, c'est ça nous qu'on est. Tremblement de terre qui est passé. Il a tué 222 500 personnes. Il y a 2 millions de personnes affectées. Et puis, 100% de production nationale. Là. Allez, pour commencer encore. Right? But, on nous pay attention. Let's pay attention to the numbers. In your country, dans le pays où, le WAP a un rapport sur ce qui est passé, vous dites, et le WAP dit qu'on sait que il y a tant de quantité de monde qui représente tant de pourcents de la population. Right? You will say, for example, you know, in, during Katrina, you know, 2,700 people, you know, you know, were killed, you know, and they represent X numbers of the population of, you know, of Louisiana. Fine. In countries like Haiti, most of the population, most people living in Haiti don't have a birth certificate. Il n'y a pas de birth registry, il n'y a pas de certificat de naissance. So we have no damn idea how many of them died whenever there is a hurricane, whenever there is a, you know, this kind of event. We nous pas qu'on Nous simplement dit, nous estimer. C'est ça qui fait que, ou après que chiffre, ne pas faire confiance toi. Mais chiffre, parler tout comment politique pays en yé par rapport à quoi peuple, par rapport à quoi population. How it, it's on politique. How we organize our own politique against, against ourselves. Ensuite, pour immédiatement après le eh, tremblement de terre, on épidémie de choléra pour Haïti. Près de 10 000 moun, 945 000 moun mouri. Et 794 moun affecté, 94 000 affecté, 2 000 et 2 millions moun affecté. C'est deux bas différents. Infecté en créole, Infected. Affecté, c'est affecté. D'accord? Affect. Has been affected. OK? So, nous continuons toujours. Pour cyclone tout, ma qui passé, il n'y a pas aucun donné sur qui est fait le fait sur GDP, Haïti. Sur eh, eh, PIB, Haïti. Il n'y a pas aucun donné sur ça. Et nous seulement connaissons qu'il y a 37, 37 personnes qui mourent, mais nous ne connaissons pas combien de personnes qui sont affectées. Ah, so, question, c'est presque même Jean Dabdou tout à l'heure. Parce que si c'est pas pour Haïti, si c'est pas un organisme étranger qui vient de dire, mais combien de personnes qui mourent, l'État ici n'a pas de capacité pour le dire combien de personnes qui mourent. You know, because if you don't have birth registry, if you don't even know where your people live, you have no idea where they are. You know, how are you going to know how many of them have been killed in a particular event? You have no idea, no clue. So, le cas ça, most of the time, c'est monde de yo, c'est organisation internationale qui vient dire à haïtien, mais combien de mourir grâce à des modèles qu'ils ont fait, etc. Mais le cas ça, pas de modèle, pas de donné. Le cas c'est comme Mathieu, 546 monde mourir. Et c'est ça yo dit. Et les nous arrivés sous terre, les nous faire recherche sous terre, nous découvrir que gain plus monde qui mourir que ça l'État est reporté. L'on green communauté seulement, et on t'y communauté, les Koto, une little city called Koto, 
there were 300 dead. But those dead, they were so far inside of the mountains that nobody knew their own existence. We had to go as ethnographers, ethnographers, moun kap fe ethnography, na le souterrain, pour nous parler à moun, pour nous discuter avec eux, et pour découvrir, oh, nous pas connaît nous les cyclones d'Abbé Vini. Nous allons parler de ça après. We'll talk about that later, right? But people die, people leave, people disappear, nobody knows. So, dans le cas de cyclone, ça a même frappé 25% GDP et pays. Alors, je ne suis pas tellement vrai que c'est trop bas théorique. Mais on nous toujours connaît que toute recherche académique, c'est un bagage théorique d'elle. Le bagage théorique, c'est que pour mettre le mot rapide, j'aime ça dire tout à l'heure, à cause de développement et gap qui gagne entre les gens qui ont moyen et les gens qui n'ont pas moyen. Classe sociale qui gagne moyen et classe sociale qui n'a pas moyen. Rural, urbain. Les gens qui vivent dans le monde et les gens qui vivent dans la plaine. À cause de ce gap, les gens qui n'ont pas moyen, les pauvres, ils vivent côté qui est plus dangereux. Ceux qui n'ont pas de moyens, ils vivent exactement dans les endroits où c'est plus dangereux. Ils sont plus vulnérables. C'est compoundé. Vous voyez bien? Ils ont un problème là. Tant que les pauvres, c'est tant que les pauvres à risque. De moins vulnérable, de moins à risque. C'est une chose. La deuxième partie de la théorie est que un pays qui n'a pas de capillary power pour réunir sa propre population n'a pas de genre de gouvernance pour répondre au désastre. Si vous n'avez pas de power pour réunir les gens, pour jouer les gens, pour jouer les gens, si vous n'avez pas de genre de gens, vous n'avez pas de genre de gens, ou pas accessible, ou pas euh, accès, ou pas à jouer nous. Donc c'est sûr que vous même ou pas connaissez et vous même tout, ou pas étrange devant vous. D'accord? Et malheureusement, ce n'est pas seulement Haïti, c'est pas seulement Haïti, en pile pays, il y a une politique, il y a une organisation, il y a une politique publique qui rit certains mondes, qui jouent certains mondes, mais qui ne jouent pas l'autre. Ou jouent dans la Latin America, with the indigenous population, ou jouent dans les autres pays dans les Caribbean, ou jouent dans les autres pays dans l'Afrique, etc. Donc ce n'est pas un pays qui est propre à Haïti seulement. Mais nous connaissons, deuxième, théorie, deuxième élément théorique, si que pas une gouvernance qui riche tout le monde, qui joigne tout le monde, c'est sûr que l'Ibral compound encore plus la vulnérabilité du pays. Troisième bagaille que nous parlons dans ça, qui est important, tant qu'il y a une vulnérabilité, de moins vulnérabilité, de moins d'autres qui sont moins vulnérables, will be more vulnérables. Ça veut dire que les gens qui sont vulnérables dans la société en général, c'est les gens qui ont moins de moyens, moins de pouvoir. Mais en dans monde ça yo tout monde pas vivre bagarre la même gens gars femmes et garçons women are among the most vulnerable and children are among even the worst most vulnerable and girls are the most vulnerable of all parce que les grands désastres there is no more structures no more institutions any anything goes anything goes and you will see it so je nous dis bien ça dans cap haïti tout facteur m'sot pale la yo, yo kombine ansam, de kombine, en de constitut wat ay kol complex fragilite. So, de theory kap mene bagay lan, se yon theory ki chita son, son, bon, fè li gen paket bagay ki li a li, pa vre, men, nou pa bezon entre la, men complex fragilite. Complex fragilite vle di ke ba la telman grav, things are so bad, that if you happen to have a heart attack in Haiti, you done, and I'm serious. You know? If, and I'm diabetic, and I have had events. So if you happen to be in Haiti, I mean, the first, I mean, among the causes of death in this country, because of infrastructure, because of all these things. But we are talking about you. But how about them? How about those who live in rural areas? You understand? How about the girls? Okay? So the compounding, there is a kind of a scale, okay, of levels of vulnerability that happen. So what I say is that, All these things create a situation in which that the issue about response to disaster, recovery, and reconstruction is an issue that requires serious attention from the society in general, Haitian society, but not only Haitian society, all societies that, are, that configure these kind of, uh, of factors in them. Tout société ça, you besoin ça. Mais non seulement ça, your society besoin ça tout. Because if you don't do anything to study and to understand how to respond, 
You know what will happen? You have been on Miami Beach. They are going to come after you in Miami Beach, but not in the beautiful hotel, but in the, you know, in the, in the seashores. But it's not about Haitians again. It's about human conditions. That's the key point that we have to keep in mind. So what I'm trying to say here is that complex fragility has to be understood in different settings, but also here in the United States, in certain contexts in which that, you know, tout bagayon marie ensemble, your compound situation population. So c'est théorie ça nous gagne. Alors, qui question nous chercher? Now, I really want your attention on this one. And uh, si mal trop vite, dis-moi. Même besoin attention. It is true that Haiti, you know, is exemplar of complex fragility. Bah la du, bah la grave, pas gain gouvernance, pas tout bah ça. It is true that all of these create conditions of extreme violence. Yes. But this is the second part of the story I'm going to tell you. And this is the second part of the theories that we embrace in what we have done. Even when people are in jail, alone, in a box, solitary, solitary confinement, even when people are destroyed, even when they come to your family, they destroy everything you have. Or even if a disaster destroys everything you have, you still have something. So that's the theory. That's the other part of the theory. What do I mean by that? C'est que société, et c'est ça nous les résiliences dans la société, société toujours créée, dans toute adversité, dans tout moment qui est difficile, société a toujours créé alternative dans la même société ça pour le capitaliser sur lui. C'est un paradoxe de la condition Okay? Tout le monde qui a social science supposé qu'il y a un salon de tête. Otherwise, when we study poor people, we will study, we will properize them, we will render them poor. Because you will only see poor in front of you. You won't see human beings, you won't see agents, people who are able to deal with structures. Structures and agency are even in situations like Haiti. Because if we don't pay attention to that, theoretically, there are practical consequences to that. Not paying attention to that means that no pral debake Haiti, you go to Haiti to save them. You know, you will be God saving them. While save, save Haiti, I'll save Haiti, pour aider Haiti. Then, if si l'idée en se mal sauve ou, ça veut dire que ou pa gen identité, ou pa moun, ou pa gen respect, ou pa gen rien, ou pa gen asset, ou pa gen capacity, ou pa gen resources, I have to do it for you. Now, if you ask me a story, why, after all this time, Haiti remains Haiti the way it is, it's because most of the time when we approach countries like Haiti, we approach them as if they had nothing. They had no intellectuals, they had no skills, they had no capacity, they have no environment, they have no goats, they have no symbolic stuff, they have no cow, they have whatever. <laughs> and to know what people have, you have to ask them what they have. You will not know what they have. Pour qui ça? Parce que tu arrives à un moment, there was a moment, when I went to certain places with my colleagues, because I don't do ethnography in long, I do it in team. Then we came to an area and then I started crying. Oh my God, they lost everything. They lost the house, they lost the car. They lost... And then when I ask question, eh, you seem to be very unhappy. It's because of your house? I have the answer for it. It's because of your house? Because of the... You didn't know. Because there was one tree here. That tree held the spirit of my family. If the tree is gone, can I say the word? Can I say it? Uh, he said, literally, can I say the gun? It's because I'm fucked. My family is out. Do you, understand? Do you see the point? So what is important to people may not be necessarily what we are looking in what people accept as important. In the case of Haiti, we have plus of people the more oppressive people is, or people are, the more oppressed they are, the more the symbolic system takes precedence over materialistic stuff. So it, you better, in the case of Haiti, understand the symbolic system. Because otherwise, no papa can respond. We cannot respond. We cannot know how to respond. So the second part of the story then was that research question. Our research question is, how can we find, how can we find resources, resources, bien 
Beer means good, things that we have, but goods that are not only material, but also symbolic that people have. But the only way to know it, you have to use methodologies that allow you to get to that. Without denying the importance of survey of all other tools that we have been using. So that's what is the story, the core of the storyline. If you understand that, I think the presentation will go very fast. OK? So and the, again, the idea was that you know, if you can identify these things, you can help people reorganize their life. Moun yo ka kampe sou pie yo. Lon pep kampe sou pie yo, se lel retoune, yon pran dignite pou kampe anko. D'accord? So, me tout metodologie nou te utilize, metod ke nou utilize. Nou utilize ethnography, an pil lan nou konen ethnography, kom metodologie. E la dan li, gen tout ba e sa yo, entretien, focus group, etc. Nou utilize survey, enquête. Ok, are you following? Nous utilisons une enquête, deux types de survey. Une communauté et une qui, qui allait pour ménager. Household surveys et community leaders survey. Okay? Nous utilisons map, mapping et nous utilisons analyse de documents. Alors, je me dis que les mots, dans la langue créole, là, nous obligeons soit à acheter la technique là, ou à acheter mapping. You buy the mapping, right? You know the technology. So then you have to buy the world too. So the world is not créole, but then we make it créole. OK? The mapping, map, mapping. OK. <laughs> OK. So, this is the, mes côté cyclone n'a passé. Alors, ça a été en anglais, les pacab sont photo, les pacab. It was in English already. So, that gives you a path. But one thing I want you to pay attention. You see, the same intensity, the, the hurricane hit Haiti. It was the same intensity it hit Cuba. In Cuba, you have five deaths. In Haiti, you have at least 524 or 26 or whatever they say. OK? So that tells you about vulnerability, about you know, governance, about all of these things. So that means that whatever you think about Cuba, OK, whatever you think, there is something here that is going on that make them protect their own people in front of disaster that Haiti is not doing. Something maybe that needs to be learned. OK? So uh, this is the area where the hurricane hit. And this is the area where we have studied this area, exactly. Because we wanted to, we, take, we took a sample from these core areas where you have the eyes, eyes of the hurricane uh, with more intensity. And then we take it progressively until we go to the second degree here. OK? So. This is this part that we have put like this one. So you only say zone côté netidje yo. Nous gen 3, nous gen 2. Zone sa yo rouge, red. Zone sa yo from red to more or less light red. Okay? Tu konsa pou kapab konnen variation gen nan bagay sa yo. Okay? So eh Rapidement, rapidement. I'm not going to say too much because I think that the discussion will be the more interesting thing. So you know already when you do your, your study and the survey part, I mean, combien femmes qui t'aiment en bagala, women, combien garçons, OK? Combien de cas qui t'aiment, majorité cas qui t'aiment, between four to six people in them, OK? Majorité cas, the majority of the household, OK? And then, the, so the level of education, Pali Kol did not mean never been to school. Okay, this is the, the pattern. Except that here is that only two years doing primary school. So that's the percentage. Okay? And then only do this part has only done, you know, a, the, the primary school, complete the primary school. So what I'm saying here is that when you look at the demographic and you look at the you know characteristics of the population, the level of illiteracy is very high. And the level, you will see a correspondence between level of illiteracy or of literacy and you know, access to health, access to this, access to that, etc., and protection mechanism. Now, these are part of the results. I started with the results of the study. I have to say that we spent three months conducting the study. We passed three months. La jeune. Nous faisons premier mois pour nous faire une enquête, nous faisons deuxième mois, troisième mois pour nous passer observer mon avec le temps. Ok? Donc, so, nous mélangeons partie 
qui gagne et, et qualitatif là, partie ethnographie avec partie quantitatif là. Bon, en fond, il y a une question que nous devons de besoin comprendre. Was that et qui j'en fait que tout le monde soit mort et qui j'en fait tout le monde soit victime? Why do we have so many victims? Did you know or did you not know? What have you? Did were you were you warned that the, the event was coming? Mm -hmm. Right? Do you understand? So that's the whole what we call about early system warning. Because let's face it, Haiti in 2010 just had an earthquake, an earthquake, and I was there with my students from University of Miami. And actually, I always lost my job because uh, the university almost rendered me responsible for the earthquake to happen with their kids in Haiti. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> However, a hurricane is something predictable. Well, the level of prediction is very short, right? But it's not an earthquake. An earthquake happens. A hurricane gives you two days, at least, to prepare. Never come to you in one minute, in two seconds. At least give you one day. Now, this is where you will see how, you know, social inequities, inequalities, distances interplay in the prevention or in the protection of the population. Fellows, 46.6%, 46.6% pas de connaît que un système, early system en place, système d'avertissement, yo les en créole. Avertissement, c'est pour faire connaître à l'avance. 46%, près de 47% de la population, pas même connaît que ça existait. T'en aimes bien? Mais quand il y a à côté, les gens prennent l'information. Where do they get their information? What kind of information do, do they have? 40%, 40%, 40 only knew about the hurricane through megaphone. Allo, cyclone n'a vini. And then, you imagine, in one day, a megaphone. People talking about something that they cannot even translate in Haitian Creole. Because people don't understand intensity. They don't understand category one, category two, category three. They don't understand direction, whatever that they are giving, providing, all these things. So people listen like, you know, one more event. You know, one more, <laughs> whatever. You know, people going, walking around. Now, one thing interesting, 48% of the rest of the population they knew about the hurricane through words of mouth. Telejol. It's a good word in Creole to learn. Telejol. Telejol. Telejol is rumors. You know the rumor I, I circulate about you guys? Yeah. That's, the, that's Telejol. It has been circulated through Telejol. OK? So Telejol is rumor. 48%. It's Telejol. Ladies and gentlemen, understand. There is no education system. There is no communication system. There is no institution capable to reach that has the capillary power to reach populations. There is no infrastructure. How do you do prevention? How do you mitigate impact of an event like Hurricane Matthew in a population like that? And what thing that was interesting was this figure here. This fellow was one of these fellows that they send in the remote areas of the country. So you see, he has a power, a, a solar panel, you know, you know, powered, but that, that, that powered the, the, the battery for this, uh, this little machine, this megaphone. But then the, the, the thing is funny. Because, I mean, it's tragically funny. I'm not saying it's funny, but it's, I mean, it is, it's, it's, I don't know. So then, then he will arrive in the community. And he's doing a community service, actually. The hurricane is coming. Be ready, be ready. The hurricane is coming. And then with some bits of, you know, rap. You know, hurricane is coming. <laughs> and then hours later, people will be flying because of the, you know, the power of the wind. I'm not going to stay too long. You know why? Because I have a report online and I give it to a Lizel, the real report, okay? So you can read the report. So I'm not going to stay too long in reading new numbers. But it's important for me to, you know, pinpoint something. Uh, to what concern uh, health, santé, soin santé, 
67% after the hurricane do not have access. Access, access. People who have physical issues, problems santé physique, 80%. Access, access to potable water, low potable. 77% do not have access. Access to toilet and latrine, can you imagine that? that? 76%. But I have to tell you, uh, Inured has done a study in PowerPoints in Islam called Cité Soleil. In the capital of Haiti, in that capital, in that place, 67% of people living in Cité Soleil don't have access to latrine. And I'm going to tell you more. One of the biggest triggers of violence between neighbors, it wasn't between, between, between because you take my lover, you take my this, you hurt me. This. No, the triggers was people, I'm going to explain it to you in a very nice way, doing their thing at night in a bag. They don't want to throw it in their backyard because the houses are just like that, one next to each other, two feet by two feet. So what they do after they finish, <laughs> And then people who can see the, by where this thing has been flying, and then, and then it starts. The scandal starts. Well, I'm not telling you this for you to, I mean, because I know that you guys, you have a good crew here. Uh, the point here is not for us to have pity for people. You know? Uh, the point is not for us to, how do you say this thing? And uh, it's, we are not enjoying this. Those are human conditions that we create. You know? We created it. And, but something interesting is mental health. Because as you know, even in the United States, one of my fight within this United States of America, at the School of Medicine, is to have the public health system in the United States pay more attention to mental health. This is one of my biggest fight. Since the fight on HIV, on you know, other, mental health. Mental health system is the least funded in the United States. Let alone for mental health for specific groups. For example, if you are gay, if you are LGBT, if you are TTTT, PATTT, whatever, you will not have it. We don't understand. I mean, the, even the Western system doesn't understand the issue of mental health and the consequence of it. What do you expect after an earthquake when all the good people go to Haiti to save Haiti? What do you expect they are bringing? They are bringing physical health. Never mind that their intervention may end destroying the health system, the local health system. Never mind. But they are bringing something. But nobody is thinking about mental health. And this is one of the key problems that we have been having. Because in the context of Mathieu, it's rural areas. People live in a different symbolic system. They have the, the loi, the loi. They told you about loi, right? The spirits, you know. They have their trees that mean something for them. So that person, when I was talking, you remember the person I was saying that when I talked to that person, and I say, oh, are you sad because you lost this and this and that? You remember that? I asked my own question and answered my own question. And then say, no, 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 I'm sad because exactly that tree, that whole the spirit of my family. Now, if you take human seriously, we don't need to be, I mean, you don't need to be help anybody, but just take human seriously. If you take yourself seriously, your, your, your symbolic system you inhabit, that makes you, your identity. If somebody mess with your identity, what happened? You lose orientation. You don't know who you are. So for the same reason, even if you don't believe in Haitians because they are barbaric, they are stupid, whatever you think, it doesn't matter to me. But what matters is to understand in situation of crisis, people hold symbolic system. And if the symbolic system has gone wild, people also will go wild. One example was that lady who told us, it was a very sad story, 
Lugao, Lugao is the evil, the devil. Pretty moon, Lugao, pretty moon. You know what that means? Because when the wind comes, it comes with many tornadoes. A hurricane is a system of tornadoes, by the way. The physicality of it. So, dude, and because Haiti has big mountains, you know, some mountains fragment the hurricanes. And of course, boop. You know what happened? A lot of people lost their loved one without knowing what happened to them. Just because that the roof of the house, that wasn't a house, by the way, has gone. And then there is a, that particular person I was telling you that has a kid that the Lugau take from. Despite the fact that they hold up, they try to hold on together around you know, a piece of whatever, the Lugau take it. Now, how are you going to think that this person is going to live his or her life when Lugau has taken their kids so quickly in one second, cannot even organize sepulture for them? So mental health is a serious issue in situation of disaster. And we are going to have more disaster. That's the problem, of course. And to the risk that I get deported, since I'm talking by in camera, <laughs> uh, to the risk that I get deported, people don't want to believe that there is climate change. Mm -hmm. But the consequences are there. And the consequences are for you too, even when you don't believe it. Mm -hmm. You know, because we see these things, the patterns are changing. So we don't need to believe it. Okay, but at least understand that we need new responses. And among new responses, mental health should be at the core. And this is one of the key things that we didn't have there anyway. So in that kind of sample of study, 1,200 people, 64% of them have at least one person in their family with mental health issue. Now, this is a huge de debate, a huge question will be, we can talk about that another time because mental health is not conceived, defined the same way in different cultures, you know that. You know, what makes you healthy mentally doesn't necessarily make somebody else healthy mentally. Okay, so it's a whole bunch of issue, but I put it there so then you know. Now, all the findings that we had, when there is this kind of event, when there is disasters, plagues, and pest multiply. Because a hurricane, when it comes, it comes, let's go back, we'll, I will talk about the hurricane and, and the pest later. But the hurricanes, after, after going through, what is the most important? It's not the hurricane itself that hit the population. The more the problems are going to raise two months after the hurricane has gone. The same thing for earthquake. The same thing for any major disaster. Take Fukushima. Fukushima, it was one year after. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, two months after. And even 20 years later. You understand? So after a disaster, you don't have immediate reactions of, because of the fact that nature has been disrupted in one way or another. Social life, ecosystem has been disrupted. New forms emerge. Now, we, all the intervention, there are many interventions that are, doing, that are being done in the, in the area where the disaster hit in Haiti. Many interventions that are being done. But the way they are done, they are done by NGOs, well-intentioned and serious NGOs, you know, who already have a portfolio of what to intervene into. They know cholera, they are going to intervene in cholera. But because Haiti has no institution, state institutions, health institution that can reach, that has the capillary power to reach the marginalized people. So you will see the theory that I told you at the beginning. People who are marginalized will be 10 times even more marginalized and they are the ones who suffer, who are going to suffer even more. Because the emerging diseases that came to them, it, these diseases weren't known in the area. And why did they emerge? It's because people have been exposed more than one month under the sun and under the rain, sleeping in the mountains with no support whatsoever. So one of the key work we have been doing was to identify with a three months, two months later, three months later, emerging diseases like eczema, like fungus, you know, that has crippled the young people. They don't enter a family. After we did that, what we did was we went to the community because the way we did the research was to go back to the communities to restitute the data. So we go to the mayor's office, you know, whatever they have as office. 
de meilleurs de local authority, Azek, Kazek, Mounsayo, tout le monde qui fait partie de l'autorité locale. Yo. Et puis nous mettez, je suis la Konya. <laughs> et puis nous mettez, nous faisons une réunion, nous faisons des together pour discuter. Et puis nous faisons une restitution, nous faisons des Et avant de partir, before we leave, they say, wait a minute. You are not going to finish to do the study to show us what's going on in our, in our neck of the wood and then you will do nothing. Nous disons, non, ça c'est travail l'État haïtien. That's the work of the state. And you say, no, dégagez-vous, cherchez des gens pour nous pour aider. So, nous rencontrons Project Medicare, nous avons Project Medicare, et puis Project Medicare partenaire avec nous et nous entrons dans le fonds d'intervention. Là, c'était le fonds d'intervention. Et qui ça nous vient de découvrir? Nous devons découvrir, c'était noir et pendant l'alpha intention, we bring, we bought also medication, nous portons médicaments pour eux. Et puis, et, Mounsayo, par la suite, this is the family that we see here. With just one intervention. But we couldn't continue to do interventions. Because this is not our mission and we, we don't have money for it. We bring it to the, uh, ID, to the states of Haiti, to USAID, it's not part of their mission. And the state of Haiti, we don't have money for that. And the disease is, up to today, I'm talking to you, is spreading all around the rural Haiti. So those are the type, the, uh, scabies, uh, fungal infections, you only say purit and creole, but puritus. Those are technical words that uh, we kept. So for, you will see all of this in the report. You know, you'll understand the whole thing. And then we also find that It was logical to imagine that a lot of people were going to be in you know, a situation of a human insecurity, alimentary, I mean, some really insecurity alimentary. That means not enough food for people to eat. But we don't have too much time, so I have to go fast to show you the way disasters hit rural areas are so different because we live in urban areas. We have no clue what's going on, how people grow your food. You know? So, like the baby who said, Mama, take for me the juice, go take a, the, who believe that the refrigerator grows orange. You know, go take it. So, these trees, most of the trees that we have observed in the areas where we went, they have obstructed about almost one fourth of the agricultural production land. And we have food insecurity. So that means that interventions that are to be done, that were to be done, and up to now that is being, that is waited to be done, are interventions that help the peasants to cut these trees because they have machetes. Machetes doesn't help you, you know, deal with issues like this or like this. You see the size of the trees in the reason of the human. So you need you know, some certain type of machine to go. And up to now, we made these recommendations and we, we, we are waiting to see what will happen. So I'm going a little to go faster. Mbrali pivot. Mbrali pivot. L'autre qualité problème que nous joignons, qui sorti, qui émergé de questions et post disaster post recendant c'est peste. I was telling you about plagues, remember? Now it's about pest. So the pest is interesting. Well, it's not interesting, but in the sense that those are tubercules that people, potatoes, that people would eat immediately after the hurricane because it goes faster, three months. But the hurricane came with a bunch of pests from neighborhood countries. Once they arrive in Haiti, in the areas, they are not It's, they have to be, the ecological system has been totally redone, remade, so they become aggressive. And Haitians and the peasants, they have no traditional way to deal with this pest. So to go fast, what you have is that while we are claiming that we want people to eat, to be, uh, you know, to sell sufficient, etc., pure, pure responsable tête, en final, c'est pas ça qui peut passer, parce que Mounio vient pas des moyens, puis au planter, ça au fin planter, yo, Bet you manger. Ça, c'est un potato garden, etc. So, rapidly, among those pests, there is a lot for me, minister. You know, minister in Haiti? Minister is the international force that is, 
that supposes to pacify it that is going in uh, October. They are going to be replaced by mini just. But in Haiti, they call it mini jupe. You know a jupe? <laughs> <laughs> mini jupe. You see the <laughs> OK. So for me, minister, it's interesting because the work of ethnographic has shown that you think of the minister at the work of the minister. And I'm talking about the worm, the worm, the worm, the caterpillar that I showed you minutes ago. And the mouton, on mouche les mouches lugao, and let me try to see if I can find them. Those we went to take pictures and take them to specialists so then they can see. So those are the, the, the different types. This animal, though, that's the mouche les mouches lugao. It can suck your blood and suck the blood of the, of the animals. So all of these emerge out of disasters, you know. So pour continuer toujours rapidement, obviously. It's a tautology to say that uh, you know people' livelihood has been destroyed, you know. Mais, mais ça, mais, but this is what I want you to know about that. Because livelihood has have, have been destroyed, aid and food has been able. To, uh, they have been able to distribute food and aid in Haiti, in the areas affected. But ça gagne un grand pile question en bagay ça. Mais ma petite bagay tout rapide zoli parce que pour nous capable fini exposer. Premier bagay là. Pas oublier que l'on société qui stratifiée par classe, par gender, par age, toute stratification ça pour avoir influence dans gens et dans distribuer. A society that is wired to marginalize women, to marginalize, is going, you are going to see it. And the way you will see it, you don't see it in this image, but the way you see it, men are the gatekeepers. And women come for their families. If you want the food, negotiate. If you want the food, negotiate. And this has been the pattern that has been going on. That's child prostitution. You know, this 35 years old man with a 13 years old girl who already has a kid of 10 months. So, to finish, pour finir, parce que tellement bas il a été long. L'enfin dit tout ce bagage ça y est. Sur qui ça? Côté ressources y est. Côté assets y est. Côté where are the assets? As I said, we will not have time, but in the report you will see a detailed analysis of the assets. Okay? You will see, for example, people have, despite the fact that they have been destroyed, their communities have been destroyed, they have been able to put themselves together. For example, mutual between women, what we call mutual in Creole, mutual, mutual is a cooperative, 20 women together, they put their money each, and then they have, they pay this woman this time, they pay the other woman, etc. Or mutual uh, forms of uh, association that they call combit, sorry or corve, so those are a group of peasants who work together. Combit. Combit is a, a, a word that is very important in Creole. Combit. Combit is when we put our energy together to do something. For example, today, today all of you work my land. Tomorrow, you know, I'm going to work your land, you know, and so forth and so on. Now, of course, for this, you need food, you need clearing, you need drink, you know, and all of these things, right? So why international organizations? Why Haitian state? Why does a Haitian state and international organization build on these associations, instill cash capital? For example, to reorganize crops, replant crops, to take care of the big trees in, you know, that obstruct the, you know, the, the garden, I mean, the, the, the field. To, a, I mean, to so many other, a, a lot of activities. Because whenever you have a disaster that destroys it's an opportunity for reconstruction. So the point of the study, and you will see it in it, we identify association, organizations, a ability, a capacity, and mostly the fact that most of these people, they have land. They own the land. It's not an area where you can have conflict, conflict you know, between, before they are low level conflict, you know, they own the land. If they own the land, and most of them are coastal 
a river and people. They live in the coastal area. So you have the sea, you know? <laughs> so a lot of resources are there. So why don't, inv don't we invest in exactly what people carry with them and have in them as resources? So we conclude the study, and you will see it in the, when you read it. You, the report is in French and Creole and English. So it's good for you. So <laughs> uh, we conclude that uh, precisely if Haiti doesn't, si Haiti pas prend racine, pas racine tête li dans sal gagné, Haiti pas prend aucun côté. Ensuite, et nous bay quelques recommandations, nous avons recommandations yo. Nous pas besoin rester sur yo. Mais faut me dire bien et me très content pour me dire nous que recommandations yo et the recommendation that we have done the Haitian government has called in red to discuss the recommendation. So which is a good thing. That's the first time in all our history that a, a government read, somebody from a government read. <laughs> and I know the president read it. No, no, I am serious. He read it because he, he could tell me stuff that only if you read it that you will tell me. So his government is sitting and discussing, and I know that they, they are going to use it. And this gives us at least an, uh, a hope in the sense that what we do as academic may have certain value in real life of people. Fellows, thank you very much. <laughs>